good morning or is it i don't know it may be even midday already um yeah here i am today mm, inspirational walk maybe i think it's more like a therapy walk today uh my faithful companion over here is struggling a little bit with um arthritis in his old age so he doesn't feel like going for a walk today even though it's a little bit warmer so we'll do a very short walk in the meantime i'm trying to see catch uh, a few things that may inspire me uh, but basically all i want is some air i mean not even the dogs are barking <laughs> It's very, very quiet and peaceful. You can hear some birds. And as I'm paying attention to the sounds, I happen to spot a beautiful sky. Let's see if I can flip around and show you what I mean. Yeah, look at that. Ain't that beautiful? Look at those clouds on the background. So many different shades of blues, grays, and whites. So I guess that was that. Uh, our walk was very, very short. <laughs> so I'll probably go out again. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, get some shots for you and and show you my my neighborhood the place i live where i live uh, look at these pine trees oh, lovely 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 and this is just around the corner from my house like my house is all the way behind me <laughs> how cool huh yeah so i hope that you're taking a nice walk today uh wherever you are if it's the middle of the summer uh, or you're by the beach or if you're in the winter and you're in the snow bundle up and go out it's gonna make you feel so much better look at me already so today after my walk I came back refreshed inspired with all the perfect energy good energy and so I'm in my studio and I thought to myself it would be a great idea for me to show you all the ways I make marks when I'm using my jelly plate and then I make prints with them. Toilet paper rolls with foam shapes that are um, hot glue gun to it. I have the same thing just with some string wrapped around. some cardboard, uh, corrugated cardboard. That's gonna make really cool marks. What else do I have? More pieces of cardboard with different marks. Uh, that was from Mini Quiche, <laughs> where they came in and I'm planning to use that, I'll show you. That is a really nice um, gift wrap that has some um, relief to it. So I'll glue it to the, to the cardboard and I'm gonna use that. That's gonna be um, another piece of corrugated cardboard peeled off in certain areas, making it more organic. More of the foamy things stuck on cardboard. Some irregular shapes stuck on cardboard, uh, more corrugated peel-offs. Pistachio shells <laughs> that I use glue gun and uh, to stick them on the board, you know? where all different things 
a good uh, to collect. I made these uh, myself, I carved them. These are kind of like a rubbery uh, little plate and I carved them with different designs. Those are gonna make great stamps. fashion stencils. Yeah, those are also my favorites. Use some erasers to also mark, um, carve with carving tools. That Those are going to make really cool stamps as well. Because they're designed by me. Maybe this time around I didn't do any um, treasure hunting in my walk because it's already winter, the leaves are gone and it's just not much happening that I can actually bring home other than photographs. So in that case I just use my walk to get in the zone to listen to my own myself you know my own thoughts to think about ideas come up with ideas uh, just to you know to get some time listen to the sounds and then I come back home and I work on whatever easy project I have uh, today as I said I, I, I decided to make a bunch of samples of uh, jelly printing with all the different mark making items that I've gathered and I've made for myself and I just wanted to share that with you to show you the potential the potential there is in all these things Without great solitude, no serious work is possible. Words by Pablo Picasso. I find I can relate to these words because I need my solitude in order to create. I like to hear myself think. And oftentimes when you know we're doing the everyday thing, maybe working uh, in an office, maybe doing chores in the house, maybe looking after someone, a child or a parent or a pet. Um, all of those things are noisy in my head and I bet they are noisy in your head as well. So sometimes quiet uh, is needed, a time of 
quiet and meditation and talking to myself. So walks is where I find this quiet and this peace that is the key to my creativity. So even in the winter, I just go out and get some fresh air. Come back, new me. Another quote by a very famous artist that I absolutely admire, Henri Matisse. He said, another word for creativity is courage. Exactly. Because one may be hesitant, fearful, doubtful of our own skills, of our own um, worth. Maybe we even think, oh, I'll never be able to do that. It takes courage. It takes courage to go and grab a pencil or a brush and start painting. It takes courage because oftentimes along the process, let me tell you, I'm thinking to myself, oh, this is not going to work out. Oh my God, what did I just do? (laughs) And what I'm trying to tell you is you have to be courageous and trust the process. Maybe at the beginning, it looks like you're not going to get what you want. Maybe it's not necessarily looking the way you envisioned maybe something's gone wrong Mm, those things are all hiccups and once you overcome them once you stop listening to all those negative thoughts and you get courageous and carry on that's when the magic happens And it doesn't matter whether you are an expert, whether you've been making art for long or you're a novice, you've never made art, you don't even think you're creative, but you want to be creative. None of that matters. Every step of the way, no matter how long you've been making art or if you have been making art at all, it's all a matter of courage and my favorite of letting go. Whether you're a beginner or experienced artist, this video is packed with inspiration and ideas to ignite your creativity. Get ready to unlock your artistic potential and dive into the fascinating art form of gel printing.